Hello everybody, this is Justin from KQS, and today we are playing Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. And I am joined by a special person, my uh, sister. Hi! <laughs> and uh, we're just going to play through the game and getting hyped for Metal Gear, Phantom Pain, oh! Yay! <laughs> you nerd. I am a nerd. No. I'm actually kind of excited. Even though I've only played the game, only played Metal Gear Solid, and then I got to the DARPA chief, <laughs> and then I accidentally killed the DARPA chief. You killed the... Was it the DARPA chief? It was the arms tech president. Oh, arms tech president, yeah. Well, that was my. That was me, being a, me and Jared being a jerk. Me and our other bro our brother being a jerk. They're like, go give the go give the arms tech guy a hug. So yeah. And, and tried to hug him because I thought that was what you do. I don't know why you'd hug a guy with C four wired to him. I don't know either. <laughs> I thought it was the power of hugs. I got it free. Oh gosh. <laughs> no, we we me and my brother just like to mess with my sister. Because I'm very gullible. Well, that and just brothers. Siblings like to mess with each other. True. Cha -cha -cha -cha. Oh yeah, you want the headset for the cutscene? Yeah. That's fine. Don't worry. We're we're swapping headsets. I only have one headset. I'm gonna use it for the game when I'm playing. But as of right now, I want my sister to enjoy this because I, ugh, I played this too much. And I do not have an odds. <laughs> I think this is like the second time you've seen it, huh? I think so. And you, that was, that was a long time ago. Actually, yeah, because I saw it when you first got it, and I was like, I want to see this. It's all good. I don't know why he looks like the little boy, he looks like uh, the kid from the Polar Express, the CG ch child. Oh, yeah. Like what? It just makes me laugh. You earned it. But yeah. And uh, during during gameplay, you can ask me anything. So th this is this might have spoilers because Julie needs a refresher, get it caught up on Metal Gear. And yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna answer anything she tells me, at least that I can. So beware spoilers. See, look, he looks like the kid from Polar Express. <laughs> He does and he doesn't. He yeah. looks like the Latino version of the kid <laughs> from Polar Express. <laughs> and that's the Phantom Pain, that dude? No. Just some random dude. His name's Skullface. Skullface. But the Phantom Pain is just... Well, well you, we were watching that Did You Know Gaming, the whole... Uh, whatchamacallit? It's... It's just a phenomenon when people, oh, amputees, they were just talking about, were just talking about phantom pain. That uh, amputees, are, they can kind of, they almost like grow a phantom limb. They can, they can have the sensations right. from their other limb. Actually, I've heard of that. And, and did you know, like, if you, like, um, oh. Because I went to massage therapy school and we were talking about people with no limbs. And someone did, like, mis pretend, like, kind of like a massage their their phantom limb <laughs> and they actually kind of felt it and huh. it made them feel better. It was interesting. Yeah. Like they kind of use it as kind of like um, like the whole energy like your karma or not your karma your, um, your key, aura. Your key. Your Dragon key. Ball Z key. Elysian see beans from the leaves. So if you hear yeah, fart noises, yeah. that's just the chair. <laughs> <laughs> but no, any questions you have, I'll an I'll answer them. And is that is that cause updating the boss on what's going on? Yep, that's cause. Still makes me like I need to play the old Prince of Persia game. There's the second one, it's Super Metal. That's the cool one. I was like that. It has that funny the Scorpion King song that I stand alone. But he was the voice of the prince, Kaz. And he was a, I guess he was an alien from Halo as well. Huh. One of the bigger aliens. Yeah. But Cypher is Zero's organization. 
Kai, it's his, it's his Patriots before. That's the best way to explain it. It's cool. I can't wait to listen to this because I got the soundtracks and I just think this song is it's cool and interesting because it's like I guess it's very seventies or yeah. yeah. I guess what it was inspired like a lot of the this song was inspired upon like some. I guess some anarchists in like the earlier days or whatever, like some Vico and Vincetti or some kind of Italian. They 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 got falsely accused and executed, and like they made a movie. They made a movie on it, and this was one of the songs from that movie. Oh. At least that I know of. Like, if I'm wrong, if anyone, go ahead and go ahead and tell me in the comments or whatever. Like, um, it sounds like, okay, it sounds like some kind of Russian anthem. Yeah. You know, like, uh... Mm -hmm, there's Skull Face. There's Pretty Face. Crazy. I'll have to let you listen to the tapes. The tapes are crazy. This is a dark game. This is a very dark game. Will you... Well, I remember the, um... What well. happens at the end. <laughs> I just won't say anything. Yeah, we'll let everything go on, but... Yeah. This is a big like, dark game, and was it like um, listen to those Ibansu podcasts? They were like, uh, I guess that there's a place called NeoGaf. It's pretty much one of the best places for uh, video game news and tons of insider leaks. There is the, that's it gets there first, and it distributes to Twitters and everywhere else. Huh. But <laughs> someone made a thread uh, in the forums. It was like, has Kojima gone too far with this game? But like, cause, I mean, compared, like, this is, the other games are so much lighthearted compared to this one, but, could, like, they are and they aren't, like, I, I'd say so more, cause this one's more violent, it kind of, it really, well, it's more violent, but like, okay, it deals with incest? Metal Gear Solid deals with incest. Yeah. I mean, like Metal Gear series, like incest between um, Otacon and his stepmother. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then Meryl <laughs> is she always thought this other man was her father, but her father is Colonel Campbell. Uh huh. So I mean, those are kind of dark themes. They're not like in. That's Japanese themes. It's like Oni Chan and yeah. Senpai. <laughs> <laughs> I was just messing around, but yeah, like this one was just like, just I mean, well, like, I, you remember seeing the Red Band trailer? It was just a bunch of torture sequences at the start, and just like all this crazy stuff. But it's like someone was like, "Has Kojima gone too far?" And then like, it was just, it was just kind of like everyone like, like a lot of people replied like, "War has gone on too far," because it's like, because apparently what this. The Camp Omega, the place you infiltrate is, is supposed to be a, uh, almost, it's kind of, kind of, kind of, his own way of talking about, like, the Abu Ghraib, uh... Oh, yeah. But I was, like, thinking, too, I mean, this is just my thought. There's Kiefer Sutherland. <laughs> I hate his voice. I hate his voice only because I like David Hayter. It made me sad. It made me really, really sad. It really does too. But I am partial to David Hayter because I have a crush on him. Yeah. So. <laughs> Kept you waiting. Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah. Yes, you have. <laughs> 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 Okay, my thought on like why maybe people are saying it's too graphic, because like the early, the earlier they didn't have the technology to like convey like stuff, so they they kind of like made it simple. But now like they have the technology to be very realistic. I mean, and maybe mm -hmm. like Kojima-san is like exploring that. Yeah. You know, like I let you. let's dive into this. I, I don't know what's my thought, but here. Okay. Thank um. You. um you're gonna let me uh, gonna have let the you. headset while I, uh, cause I need the headset. Ow! So I hit myself in the face. Cause I need to hear the the headphones and everything, but I can still hear you. So I can still hear you too. So <laughs> when I had it on. So. so let's hurry and start everything out. The cool thing is, uh, you have a thing called the iDroid, which I think is a cool name. It's, of course, it's a mixture of iOS and Android, but the cool thing about it is you can, uh, check the information. 
Uh, you can even call a helicopter from here. You can check your map. But this is a uh, user binoculars. I think I actually like this kind of mechanic. See, I, I think it's more fun. Like, I don't know. We haven't had the radar for a very long time, but I like this kind of mechanic of marking people. Okay, I like the mechanic of marking people, but I don't like the radar. <laughs> I just, I guess it's like. I like Metal Gear Solid's more futuristic. Yeah, like, I mean, well, I'm talking about the old school radar. Like, you remember how you had the radar of like, the the cone shape of vision. Oh, you, that's oh, what I mean. Okay. The Soliton radar. Okay. This one you have. This one you really have to just stand here for a second. Hey, there's Crispin Freeman. Oh, that's my the other voice Those actor I have a crush on. Yeah, that's that's Crispin Freeman. He's so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the cool thing about this is uh, psh, I S ranked everything. So the cool thing you get rewards for S ranking stuff is you get weapons. You get a, mach a loud machine gun. Uh, Which really isn't good for sneaking missions. Big sniper <laughs> rifle, not good for sneaking missions. Rocket launcher, definitely got not good for sneaking <laughs> missions. <laughs> but it's good for taking down vehicles. Yep. I am gonna do my best. I, I never promise any amazing gameplay or whatever, but I'm gonna try and not get caught. And I'm not gonna S rank this. The best way to S rank this is just use your tranquilizer and um, help out. Uh, like, uh, get prisoners or whatever you call them. Like, you can. Extract more than, uh, well, and you're supposed to Chico. get Chico. So you, you can get like seven on here. Wow. So if you get all seven, don't get caught, don't kill anybody, you can S rank this, no problem. It took me 40 minutes to do it. So this might be half an hour to. I have no clue. So he is going to tell me some stuff. So the cool thing, so we're going to stab him. So, uh, you can go on the map, and you can see where he marked the ammo. So, and get more ammo there. Get more tranquilizer rounds. Ooh. But, the cool thing is what I'm using now, is I'm using the iDroid app on the phone. And that gives me the iDroid... See, like, it's cool. I can call a helicopter. I can even listen to the music tapes. Let's listen to one now, just for fun. Uh, let's listen to Metal Gear Solid. Okay, that I think is really cool. How they... What? <laughs> Fine then, don't play. Well, well, it's not working at the moment, but you can call in a helicopter, you can... you got, I literally have the map right now, so I can always see what I'm looking at. But... What I'm going to do, I play this so much, is I'm going to basically clear a path. People are going to die. No S ranks here. Just because, uh, I'd rather not, I don't know, S ranks are fine, but once you earn your S rank, you have no, you have no means to, you don't need to make, prove anything to anyone else. <laughs> oh. Actually, I kind of like you saying that. There we go. He's knocked out. I don't. I think so, cause like when I played Metal Gear Solid 4, I got my my uh, big boss ranking. Well, you, you weren't there when no. I did it, cause oh, I was so mad. It made me so frustrated. That one you had to play in the hardest difficulty, not get caught, not get seen, not use rations, any health items, and beat the game in like five hours. Oh wow! So. That really, it's stressful. <laughs> yeah. That is like unbelievably stressful. It makes you, it made me mad. Like, it literally, uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 has five chapters, and it took me a day for each chapter. <laughs> one day, one full day to just kind of like, okay, I'm gonna reg. Oh, he's going over here. But uh, it took me a full day, each chapter, whatever, 
I liked how they mixed um, live, fit, live, live action. You just like the opening intro. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking of where David Hayter was interviewed by Lee Merriweather. That was, was the, cool. that was the opening intro. That that was, was it was kind of a it was kind of a funny little parody. Uh, kind of like, here's what's on TV tonight. <laughs> and that's what I kind of liked about it. I thought it was funny. That would always make me laugh. Let's hide behind For here. For those of you who don't know, we Mary would have played, um... Mrs. Bat Brady? Or? No, she played, uh, Catwoman on the old Batman series. Ah. She was one of the Catwomen. There were three of them, I think? Two or three? I know there was Lee Merriweather and Eartha Kitt. I think there was another one, I don't remember. So what I'm doing right now is I'm... I am... I, lo I love to do this all the time, because you can just run up to people and go, yeah. <laughs> That guy's running. So, hold on. Because, yeah, that guy usually comes running right after. And I might kill a few. I'm probably going to kill those three that, are, that I just knocked out recently. Just as a means of precaution. Because having these guys awake is never a great idea. Oh, gosh. I did that too early. Oh, he didn't even notice. So, what we're going to do... Hey, buddy. Oh, shoot. I find it interesting, like, not like when they, when you get caught, it slows everything down. You can turn it off. But oh, you can. You can, you, basically, if you turn it off, you get more points. Huh. Towards your S rank, A rank, whatever. Personally, I would like that better. I mean, it's slowing it down, because if you're a horrible shot like me, yeah. you can, like, kind of focus, okay, boom, you know. So, I'm going to use the poop icon. <laughs> the poop icon? <laughs> no. You even say you saw yourself. It looks like he's taking a dump. Yeah, it does. Looks like he's going to the bathroom. Looks like he's... Yeah. That's why I just called it the poop icon, so you'd be more familiar with it. <laughs> it's not really the poop icon. <laughs> I was thinking of the poop emoji. I was like, thinking, like, what? You pushed the poop emoji on your phone and it did that? <laughs> Oh, well, in Phantom Pain, you can. It's cool because oh, I'm. I can't wait to use the horse because you can make it poop, uh -huh. and you can. Um, the, oh gosh, that's what I love about the fan or the the examples they use all the time is uh, when they show the gameplay. They show like really cool stuff, but they uh, you can use the horse to poop in the road, and it will literally be a landmine. Well, not a landmine will blow up, but like but it'll. Like They'll like, swerve out. It's hilarious. Oh, you can poop. Funny. The jeeps in the road will just swerve out, and it's hilarious. And that's Kojima san's awesome attention to detail. <laughs> he did a lot of research for that. Now, the thing I like about Metal Gear is like, it's a weird balance of kind of kooky silliness and like seriousness. Yeah. And I kind of like that. Um, I killed two people here. So yeah. So, I know where everything in Chico is, so... I'm just hiding the bodies at the moment. The best place to hide the bodies is in the sheds. Yeah, best place... Yeah, it's good to hide in the sheds, because no one checks the sheds. And I hear a car? Okay, it's still, it's still there. I might just hide the other body in the. I don't know. Want to get to a better place. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. You can do lots of cool, fun, crazy stuff with the new Metal Gear games. There's a guy right there. Yeah, cause I know what to do. And that's what I like about it. I like having X-ray vision to remark people. And it helps you plan things out better. That's one thing I actually enjoy. So, oh yeah, one last thing is we need smokes. Smoke if you got them. Oh yeah. Well, we are going to replace the frags with C4. You've got explosives. They'll pack enough power to destroy their anti-air defenses or vehicles. 
Let's see. Now we get to move forward. Because the prison camp is right this way. And a good approach. I'll show you guys in one second. Use a flare grenade to call the chopper wow. to tower position. Just don't forget you might put it in danger hey, if buddy. shot down. There we go. So there's a searchlight dude over there. And most people, usually, I don't know, really dumb, go that way. A good way, a good approach. You see, there's another guy. Yeah, marking everybody helps a lot. It's probably one of the best things to do. Eh. You can keep that guy asleep. He's no real threat. Mark, 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 mark. There's the anti ear guns. I'm actually trying to think how, what way I should go. Probably that way, am I? I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. You're asking the wrong person. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to myself, so okay. mo for most part. Let's see. This is for later. That will help way. That'll help out a lot later. So the best thing to do is just kind of... He's just kind of scanning. He's, he tripped. I jumped. <laughs> I just... I was... I was just teasing him. That guy's kind of a problem sometimes. But there are three dudes... In this area where... Where Chico is. But first... It's always one of the best things to do. I got the searchlights. If you have nobody going this, did I alert anyway? Oh no, I heard something. Oh, your radio? Yoink! <laughs> Yes, it is. Staff. <laughs> so he told me more info. Um, someone might be investigating. Eyes open, boss. So I'm just gonna hang here for just a sec. Did you turn off the searchlight? Oh, um, I didn't turn off the searchlight per se, but I just kind of like. You just disabled the guy. Yeah, I just disabled the guy. Cause disabled the guy and. Uh, we're gonna put the searchlight over here. Okay. No, I was just curious, just because I was like thinking if you turned off the searchlight, that'd draw more attention to you. Yeah. I would think. Yeah. Yes and no. Um, I'm gonna move out of here before. Damn it! <laughs> that always happens. I moved his dead like I was crouching, and I moved his dead body, <laughs> like as oh. I jumped off the the ladder. Oh. <laughs> just like no. Yeah, night vision goggles help with this. Having predator vision is nice. Come on. There we go. Sometimes snake can be a little a little weird. Those are porta potties, aren't they? Yep. Portable potties. And I like how it auto saves. Auto saving is nice. Actually, that is nice. Especially this game. Like, initially, when you first play, this game is gonna be really hard. It's gonna be tough because just these the guards are like super stubborn. The guards are like super attentive. More, att like, they are the most attentive guards, Metal Gear guards, like ever. See if we can do this. Actually, that's not gonna work. Let's crawl. That's the old prison area. The target's so there. Him. All right, let him go to sleep. Let Sam Jackson go to F to sleep. Yep. 
There we go. Snake doesn't have a very tight, or Big Boss does not have a tight suit like Snake can ride in. <laughs> <laughs> well, his sneaking suit's a little different. So this guy's checking out that guy that Pat fell asleep. Hopefully, if timing is good enough, he's not going to notice that guy fall asleep when that happens. Come on, dude. So he's going to wake his buddy up to the right. There we go. So he's not going to hear me. Because you can actually, there's a point where they just stop hearing stuff. Hey, buddy! Yeah. <laughs> I just like doing that. That was actually a lot of fun. Like, you're just like body sliding out. It's like, Aah. So, those guys are dead. And he unlocked the door for me. So, because oh, hey, before, like before you had to unlock the door here. But, actually, this will go really good into my plan. Because I planted out C4. You'll see how I'm going to use it in a sec. Because that is going to be very helpful. <laughs> Boss, we've been in touch with Amanda. We had her listen um, to Chico's call for help. She agrees with us. Use she C4. said, I know my brother and I know when he's lying. Yeah. Yeah, you don't actually... Yeah, I never really played Peace Walker for you, huh? You did, like, and you didn't. I, I don't know, I, I was not... Actually, I was... I don't know, I wasn't not, that interested in it, but... Not as impressed. Yeah, but... You wanted to see real, like, CG cutscenes instead of the, the comics, or...? I, okay, the comics? What game did you play? I actually like the comics, but did you play, like... I don't know why, I wasn't that impressed, like, I didn't, you know, it didn't interest me as much. Yeah, I fine. mean, but I do want to watch them, because I think I watched the thing with the comics that looked cool. Like, I think I watched, like, the last half of it. Uh-huh. Actually, let's not waste ammo. Jeez! <laughs> what, 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 just, what did he just kick him? <laughs> hey, buddy. Tell me something. That was useless. So, what I'm gonna do... This is gonna be actually interesting. If I can do this correctly. Hopefully this is not going to cause too big of a problem. Because, <laughs> uh, talking about C4. So this is all the prisoners. Okay. Pretty much, pro tip, if you rescue them all, you can get a huge bonus on your endgame skill. Or your endgame rank. And if you're looking for a cassette tape, this is where, uh, Paz was. And she has a cassette tape just lying around here. So, good to know everybody. The more you know. <laughs> oh, Latin, she, Latin, Latin <laughs> Polar <Express>. Express. <laughs> but I mean, look at it, though. It, it does. I mean, just when I first saw it, I was like, oh gosh, she looks like the Polar Express. <laughs> But the cool thing about it is, in this game, if you save any prisoners, POWs, special characters you save, uh -huh. you get to use them in Phantom Pain. Oh. You get to transfer stuff over. And it's cool. And yeah, they want to get out too. Don't blame them. Nope, don't blame them at all. I don't know why Chico's... Go to sleep! Shh. <laughs> Is Chico just kind of having PTSD or just... Uh, well, a little bit. Well, I'll, still, I'll let you listen to the tapes after. Okay. Because you get to really hear what really happened with him and why he's a little bit more... feels a lot more guilty than everything. Uh... You're like, you want a fresh one, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I got Chico. And Pa. That's how a grandpa would say. Not yeah. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Terrence <laughs> like, of course he's not here. 
<laughs> oh, that would hurt so bad. Well, having a headphone jack in your chest. Yes. But, uh, having your Achilles heel tendons bolted. Oh, gosh. So he... Oh. He really can't move. They really... Oh. They really messed him up. Ooh. We'll get Paz's whereabouts out of him once he's calmed down. And he's not walking anytime soon. Oh, wow. I didn't notice that when I watched you. So, now, there's going to be two guards coming down this road. So, we're going to use a little distraction. I feel like, I feel like Jamie Heineman. Whenever you have problems, use C4. <laughs> because they're all freaking out like, oh no, there's people. Ta-da! I got my own pathway. Oh wow. See? That's the great thing about this game is if you're just crafty and you just use your head, distractions and everything, yeah, they're on alert. But, but they don't know where you are. They have no clue where I am, and they're going to investigate the camp of where I let the C4 down. Oh. See? you got to use your brain. Use your brain, Joel. Or use your noodle. Use your noodle. What's the question? Who said that? Chico, where is Pops? Um, I just know use your brains from the Simpsons when they were lepers. When they thought they were lepers on the Simpsons, but noodle, I just think of the noodle dance from that. PB peanut butter and PB J and Otter. Yeah. But there was like somewhere else, like someone would be like, you hear who? When was this recording? <laughs> She's dead. Yeah. That's another reason why Chico's a little a little messed up in the head. <laughs> so okay, when I saw the bolts in his Achilles heel, I thought they were actually he was actually bolted to the floor. No, they bolted okay, his... He cannot walk oh. at all. So, what they're doing over there, those boogers... Let's see if I can tag somebody. Because it's going to suck on the way back. Sort of. Maybe. Oh, you know what? Let's use the iDroid on my phone to call. And then you hold down. I love that. Roger that chopper request. That was my phone. That was actually pretty awesome. So, in the new game, I'm so excited because I get to call choppers, I get to call everything, I get to check my map, right from my phone. Hold on. Hey, buddy. So he's gonna investigate. Die. Okay. So, basically, that's what I like about this game. You get to use distractions, and any kind of distraction you use is a very good... Like, like that. Putting it in the prison camp away from everybody. Right. They get to investigate over there. Pushes all the guards over there. Damn. Damn. I forgot. Nice. We gotta change the helicopter music. Got Chico out. And let's listen to the tape. And this is actually pretty this is actually pretty easy. I'm gonna go right directly into it. It said we're S ranking, so we're or not S ranking, so I'm killing a lot of people. People will die. So I cleared my own path up there, because the, that guard tower is probably one of the, or that guard station, whatever, is probably one of the bigger problems when you come back. And there's a dude over there. Taken out of his cage. Did he leave the tape recording while he was being moved? Plus, might be up ahead. Was it? Okay, that was not his head. I hear vehicles. Oh, leg or yeah. <laughs> Couldn't tell so much from the night vision. Okay, so by me marking those guys, it tells you exactly what they are. Yeah. 
must be near the heliport. So he's minding his own business. Did you hear that little brr, brr, brr? Yeah. Is that an alert? Nope. We'll find out in a sec. Let's see if we can tag this guy. You live. Oh, never mind. Oh, dang, I'm really messing. <laughs> well, not messing up, but I used a lot of tranquilizers. That's. It's one of the hard things about listening to this tape and doing this is just like you don't get to hear like you don't get to hear anything like there's no right. I don't get to hear guards I don't get to hear the sound effects so it's a little tough. Way to get out of here. There's a security camera right here, isn't it? Where is it? Right next oh, there it is, right next to me. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. But yeah, marking everybody lets you know exactly where people are. So you can plan out your... Plan out how you're going to do stuff. That's what I like about this. It makes it a little... It's a little bit of cheating, but... Oh, that's pretty good. So now my suppressor on my gun is a little worn out. So, I'm going to replace it. Pop out. Now we hear some tranquilizer around, so I'm all full. And he's going to back out over here. Do -do -do -do. Just waiting for him to get out. Where's the smokers? Yep. Good thing there are guns like Smokey and uh, Metal Gear. Yeah, there used to be. Yeah. Tell me something, dude. <laughs> right next to me. That's good, though. I'm still gonna kill you, but... Your fate will not be that bad. So, this thing we'll do is crawl under here. And there's a couple guys. That's one, yeah, right at the edge. Underneath a surveillance camera. He's a little tricky, because he can he's probably one of the guys that will most likely see you. Uh. But there's only uh, four guys here. So one of the better things to do. Let's see. So he's Looking over there. Let's climb up here, take out this searchlight dude up top. And there's a bunch of dudes up there. Or on, on the other side. I think there's like five. So, when you're doing all this stuff, be careful. Door. drag him into here and someone saw me because you hear the little and we're going to do the same thing set up another distraction for later oh gosh someone's running closer to us oh gosh someone saw us Unless you get to him first. Actually, it would be 
<laughs> nope. No, yeah, I was I was waiting for him to climb the the ladder. So once he climbs that ladder, the animation the animation uh, it's like it stops. They can't see you. So what I my big plan next is to take out this guy 38 meters away from me. He's he's tough because he can see you up here too. One of the better things to do. Just shoot him. Let, he's gonna he's gonna walk over there, and if he falls asleep there, that's a good thing because he's out of that camera's point of view. The next guy, I'll probably take out him because there's. This isn't really that bad because I took down everybody. Yeah, he pretty much did. Oh, hey, buddy. Just, this is going to be a little difficult. Dang it, I was looking to not get caught this whole time either. Hey, right. <laughs> I really got caught once and. So. Yeah. Do like halfway and it's not bad. So, okay, are you halfway through the game? I'm almost done. Oh, okay. So the best thing to do is just run back to somewhere. Ah, dang it. I don't want any reinforcements. Any reinforcements are never a good thing. Because it means more people for you to kill. Um, let's see. Let's climb up here. Dang it, I was looking, I was like so, oh, if I would have noticed that guy, it would have been different, but we're almost done anyway, so. Because <sighs> I didn't know where he was. If I would have known where he was, I would have shot him in the face, but. Mm -hmm. I was aiming for someone else. Means there's three more. So, uh, uh, oh well. I said I'm not playing for rank, and that was that was a honest mistake. Uh, and I'm just kind of like, <laughs> just one of those things just like, oh, I did so well there. Had my, cr had my really crafty, cool C4 distraction tool and all this stuff, and it's like, nope. So they, they up the, oh. So pretty much reinforcements. So before there was 37, now there's 43. I have to worry about another six. Ooh. So reinforcements are bad. Yeah. Well, they're never, there's never been great anyways, but like the other Metal Gear games have always been about... Uh, it's like the reinforcements and then after things calm down, they go away. This one, this time they don't. Yeah, then they ambush you, and then you're like, then you get away from them. They're like, okay, we'll, we'll go back to our post now. <laughs> so. Here, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to distract him, <laughs> because what I want to do is I want to I want to hit that barrel. If I'm crafty enough. <laughs> just going back and fixing everywhere. You're like wasting your 
Oh, I have right? unlimited. Oh, okay, then it doesn't matter. I have, an, as you can see, the infinity symbol. Ah. <laughs> this is gonna be funny when it does happen. <laughs> hey guys, investigate this. Because I'm gonna do something funny. Hopefully there's no one behind me. What the heck? Come on guys. Noise. Okay, I think it's kinda cool. I mean okay, it sucks, but it's cool at the same time that the reinforcements go don't go away. Yeah. Because it, it makes it more challenging. Oh yeah. Oh no! Oh yeah, it definitely makes this game is definitely much more challenging than the others. So I need me to find a way to get back into the base, which isn't that hard because initially I created myself a path. Path of destruction and death. Pretty much. That guy's going back to his post. Alright. But it auto saves. That was really. Oh. I could have been done in like five minutes. Or five minutes ago, I feel. But the good news is, is everybody's back to their posts. I killed everyone over here, for the most part. And I got that, I still got my C4 distraction over there. Things get too scary. Everybody. It's just the fun distraction of guards. Hey, what's that? No, he... He's not phased by the enemy. dead bodies over here. Don't mind us. There was um, poison food at the uh, chow hall. That's why everybody's dying. Pretty much. That guy's <laughs> asleep. So, what my original plan was... Turn off the power. That leaves me. That lets me not care so much, and then I have, have darkness. 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 It's spreading. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was thinking of the other darkness. Oh, I was thinking of just being so pretty on there. Twin brother, darkness. All right, I just need to be careful. This guy's a bunch of jackasses. Like to. But, uh, I need to turn off my light. Okay, it's coming to the 
get me. Let's double down the C4 distraction stuff. Alright. Pay attention this time. Don't get caught with your pants down. Which is also always kind of a funny expression. That's for. Ugh. Oh, I don't know. That's I for just... ruining my plans. Pretty much. These guys hanging out over here. All these dead bodies. They're gonna fight. Like I told you, there is some poison food at the chow hall. That's why all the people are dying. No all this, bullets. All the soup got poisoned. All the soup got poisoned. See, that's why I like the reflex mode. <laughs> I like that too. Because that, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna ambush you, you jerk. And then it's like, crap. Because, yeah, this is. That's the most safest way to go, but. Eh. I'm gonna leave a bunch of dead bodies. It's all cool. Yeah, now that the power is out, I can kind of roam around a little bit easier. Less uh, security cameras. Or no security cameras to worry about. Now, let's kill everybody. The Dread Pirate Roberts will have no survivors. <laughs> nice. I love that movie. That's a good movie. It's probably it's one of the best movies of all time. It is. Once I heard they wanted to remake it. Oh. I was like, oh, that's depressing. No. I wish they'd stop remaking stuff. I agree. Remaking this... movies is just like horrible. Yeah. The Nostalgia Critic had a very interesting editorial about it. Where are you coming from? Let's double down even more on the C4. The more distractions I have, the better. Because they're, they're going to be busy worrying about what's going on at our base. Like, mm -hmm. I'm in your base killing your dudes. <laughs> I forget what that's from. I think there's like some, I think there's just like some internet peep. Some Someone on the internet was like, I'm in the base killing your dudes. Sounds like something Max would say. Well, the way he says, dude. Dude! Hold on. Let me check the recording for a sec. Okay, everything's good. <sighs> and now we can breathe a little easier, sort of. With all the dead bodies lingering around. Because what we're going to do is we're going to cut through. I'm trying to think which way I should cut through. Because there's a couple ways you can do it. You know, we'll go the short way, but we'll go like the crazier, the little bit crazier way. That was crazy. Yeah. She used to have all this curly hair. I bet they did that to um, mess with her, you know? Mm hmm. Women and their hair. I don't know what it is. Mm hmm. Cut her down and get her out of here. And I have a rocket launcher just in case anything goes wrong. So <laughs> this is nothing to worry about. <laughs> it was like just a side thought. Just like, okay, because Solid Snake fights Big Boss. Uh -huh. Like, when does Big Boss go bad? Because Big Boss seems like a good dude. This, the Phantom Pain, it, that's the whole point of the game. The game's like, hey, want to see what happened to the Big Boost? Oh. 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the riskier route, but it's actually a much cooler route. But yeah, we got all that C4. There's a dude right outside this door, right next to us. There he is. <laughs> I was like saying that. Oh no! She can't wander away, can she? No. Uh oh. You did. Oh wow, they left the people even more. <sighs> yeah. So this is gonna be really. This is gonna be extremely risky. But it's probably one of the coolest ways to do it. One of the bigger problems. So that APC, that APC is not being used, which is good. And I'm happy. APC is a tank? Yeah, uh, armored personnel carrier. Oh. It's got a big freaking machine gun there. Okay. The thing is not fun to fight. And it's got a very high chance of killing Paz. That Ooh. is the APC <laughs> that we gotta worry about. They, they turned the power back on. Um. Or that was just that part of the base. Look, she was my snakes. They've discovered Poss is missing. They'll be looking for her. Hurry, you've got to get out of there. Yeah, hurry. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm throwing smoke grenades so that APC doesn't even see me. No, I'm being silly. I, I know. <laughs> I'm just like, this is a stressful part. Oh gosh. Okay. I didn't do a good enough job. Because you run up and say hi to that thing, and that thing will put you on blast. Literally. Oh, the smoke grenades. Let's see if I can snipe them from here. This is the much crazier part. So, in the meantime, let's. Let's call that helicopter. One more shot. Let him fall asleep. Hey, buddy. Fuck this. We're running. That guy's asleep. <laughs> They're gonna make a forced landing. And yeah, the APC's coming for us. So I'm gonna haul ass. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, this. Oh man. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. G might die. <laughs> Please don't die, pause. <laughs> Sorry, I just didn't know. Like, just the way you said it. Like, Please don't die, pause. Because usually they shoot her in the back and she uses her bullet sponge almost. Come on, Marshall. Come on. <laughs> this is the time we get to have our own retaliation. Hey guys! Take it, careful. Keep it steady. <laughs> nice that you have that rocket launcher. Yep. Yeah. We're getting hit. Oh wow. We did it! Yeah! 
I had a feeling I was gonna get caught there, but as long as that guy was knocked out in front of me, it's it's all about making a path. You make a path, you follow it. Yeah, B rank, not bad. Yeah, not terrible. Kill twenty nine people. Jeez. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, dang! I should have used my C four. Oh yeah, should blown up everybody. <laughs> should I would just be? Because I was like. I was more, more so focused on that APC in front of me, and then I was like, I had C4. I could have just used the C4, everything would have been fine, would have caused a good enough distraction, and I could have just ran out there. Oh well. Eh, next time. Oh no, gameplay stopped recording. Guess what? It did it. That's the end. I want to hear Kiefer Sutherland in a deep sounding voice. Yeah. <laughs> This is nuts. Yeah. She's weak. Damn it, we were set up. We gotta get it out. No time for anesthetic. We have to open her now. Cause didn't you say medic is also key for someone? Yeah, cause I mean, it sounds like a hard, yeah. like a deeper Hold voice for her. And then that, what he sounds like, if it, if that's key for someone, it sounds like his dad. Yeah. His dad's Donald Sutherland. Also, President Snow, if you weren't sure. <laughs> From Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gnarly. That would that would suck so bad, especially without any anesthetic or anything. Oh, just gosh, yeah. just rip it out. Just dig in there, rip it out. And, Yeah, I did fine. I was kind of like, eh, got a B rank. Killed a lot of people, <laughs> but oh well. That was like crazy. Yeah. Very visceral. Yeah. Boss. Oh, Boss. Wow. He's got the peace sign. Blow up people for peace. <laughs> That's what her name means. Mm hmm. Yep. The guy to tour yep. He and Imarik. Imarik. By the time they leave, I'll have the IAEA praising us as the poster boys for world peace. Out. Vroom. Vroom, motherfuckers. Vroom. <laughs> just, just like, I don't know. All my, all my level sixty guys are are down at the bottom of the ocean. Aww. All that work. I think I put in eighty hours in the Peace Walker. Well, eighty four. I'm still a ton of it. Some 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 stuff you gotta like S rank stuff. Oh. Yeah, like do you you can actually I actually got the Soliton radar, so it's actually kind of cool. But oh, cool. you can get stealth camouflage and all that fun stuff. But yeah, poor mother base. If you noticed before, so 
that the skull face how these like Trojan horses in, so someone oh. someone from your team is not exactly not exactly good. <laughs> I I don't know yeah, I'm thinking Ocelot, because Ocelot's only in it for himself. <sighs> I'm guessing you always my you always be hating on Ocelot. Ocelot's cool. You hate Troy. You oh, hate okay. Troy Baker. No, I, just don't, just tease him. I don't hate Troy Baker. Troy Baker is another one of my uh, voice actor crushes. Joey's new hotness. I mean, this. <laughs> no, I mean, okay. Ocelot's a cool character, but just Ocelot doesn't care about anyone but Ocelot. To a point, he always has. He he has always has his own agenda, but. In Metal Gear 4, the whole point of that game, like, he was just trying to fool the Patriots and everything like that. He is nothing like his mother. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can do pretty rad you know, gun flips, little twirls. Yeah. And he meows. always <laughs> made me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, one of the things is destroyed. Aww. I know those XOF dudes. Okay, I don't remember this part. Yeah, what can I happen too fast, really? This, I don't know, this part's cool. I just, I just think it's cool. It's like, I don't know, just, just, just his, like, I don't know. It, I think it's cool watching people do the whole, like, and then him, he's doing it all cool. Like, wasn't they were on, I think it was like, they were on, like, Helicopter is coming in. Like I, he doesn't. It's like realistic, kind of. Yeah. He held onto the actual helicopter and shot with one hand, and it was actually kind of cool. Yeah. I like cool. Miller's hair. Yeah. He's got cool hair. He's a pretty cool guy. He's pretty funny. There's tons of funny stuff in Peace Walker. You can listen to those tapes, interview tapes with everybody, and they 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 bring this one French girl to the base. And then they, he bought all this wine, and he's like, hey, hey, Cecile, have some, have a drink of the old country. And it was just funny hearing this French girl, instead of calling him Master Miller or whatever, she's like, Monsieur Miller. And she was all drunk. It was funny. This is a right that was ours. Ah, dang, I forgot. They played us like a damn fiddle. Did I miss it? I think I did. Cause I love, bitch. I love that they played us like a damn fool. Come on, start talking, bitch. Come on, get up and start talking. <laughs> but no, Metal Gear Solid Five is Phantom Pain is it's revenge, revenge. So this is. It's all right, we got it. Cause you saw that new launch trailer of him walking down and. On fire. Yeah. And this is the crazy part. This is. <laughs> Boom. That was insane. Yeah. That was freaking insane. That was. First time I saw that, I was like, wow. <laughs> oh no! That was the craziest thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That was some crazy stuff. So, yeah. Of course, the US is gonna deny any wrongdoing. Of course. Well, psh, that. That Cuban base thing was like what was a was a black site. Uh, they owned it on communist soil. I mean Cuba, so it was kind of yeah. like nope. We're not gonna tell nobody about anything. It's like Mission Impossible, Secretary of Death, disavow any knowledge. favorite song Nicola Bart immigrants wrongly executed but their deaths served as a message to others 
that ours is a society that murders the innocent. Do you too believe your sacrifice will change the world? Mm -hmm. Oh, he did the facial capture. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. That most that's that's pretty much what they did. They they got him with the little dots on the face. And they motion capture, fine. And you're Christopher Freeman, Joel. Yeah. But yeah, that's kinda how they did it, just kinda get the emotions in the face. That is really cool. I kinda like how they do that now. Yeah. In the, in the in the beginning, it was really weird because there was a game called LA No LA No Noir, uh -huh. and they did that, and it looked kind of fun. I, I don't think they kind of like because sometimes I think when you get a raw capture, motion capture, whatever like that, sometimes it looks a little weird, but like kind of it takes just a little fine tuning on the face, like you know what I mean, like just a little tweaking to kind of end the animation because like some part of their cheekbones might like yeah. <laughs> poking out or something weird Is like that. I like more by the same guy who did um, the Souls with Ellen Page or no. some different guy. No, that's a... Uh, L.A. Noir is a rock star. Oh, okay. GTA people. And <laughs> Beyond Two Souls Beyond Two Souls is a uh, quantic dream or whatever. That David Cage guy who just loves himself. They kind of made me laugh in the, the best friends I bought see when they're like, he tries to be like Hideo Kojima, but Hideo Kojima <laughs> makes better games. Oh gosh, Kojima-san makes great games. Because like, he put he puts himself, that David Cage guy puts himself in everything. Like he, um, was it Indigo Prophecy, that other funny one where Willie oh. was getting hyped, the oh, i breadsticks. Yeah. <laughs> um, they... Whatchamacallit, they actually, the beginning of the whole game is just a, an Xbox, like a PS2 Xbox quality David Cage, like on a set, like, hey guys, I am David Cage. Like, David Cage almost reminds me of that one guy from, <laughs> from the room. Hello, Danny. I did not hit her. <laughs> I did not. I still want to see that dumb movie. <laughs> Yes. <sighs> yeah, did it in about an hour. Wasn't too bad. No. Oh, I should use my C4. I'm just like, punch myself now. I was like, ah, I should use my C4. And like, I didn't think there was anyone there at that ladder. And I was pointing at the wrong person. I was like, what? Yeah, Chris Zimmerman Salter. She's the one who does the voice directing of all the Metal Gear games. Oh, cool! So that's the that's the reason why the game the that's the reason why everything sounds so good. It's one I don't know. It's one of my biggest beliefs. Is like, I feel like the director is the biggest importance on how an acting how acting is done. Like yeah, like uh, American Ultra. Twilight Girl actually did half. She actually she did half did. decent. I was like impressed with her. Her portrayal. Her, <laughs> Seen uh, her dead Twilight. Just, just like, hey guys. Like, In the stairs. Say it. <laughs> Vampire. Oh god. <laughs> just like, because it's just like. I know what you are. God. Say it. I had to Vampire. say Twilight. I had to say <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> But yeah, I just I think a director can really. Oh yeah. I think a good director, like, cause it's kind of like, do they just do it in one take, like Twilight, or they, they get it to its perfect or where they want it to be instead of. Yeah. It just depends on how invested they are. Well, invested how they are and what what emotions well, what they, they want. want from yeah. And what they want. Because I mean, some of the directors Twilight I think had good intentions. Of course. It just was like it was, it was. I don't think I don't think well I don't think any movie direct I don't think any director of any kind wants has I think they want the best intentions and I think they want to do the best. Except you, Abel. Except you, Abel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I need to find that cool video because because it was like I think the video is literally titled like "Eat Shit Everybody." <laughs> <laughs> 
just makes me laugh because it's like I'm the guy who makes those crappy video game movies and I'm mad because <laughs> because everybody tells me that they're crappy they're <laughs> just like and yeah I, and he's really proud of them because I guess like when um, the Zaibonsai I guess they saw that postal and uh they, uh, they had a Q and A afterwards, and they, they were giving him crap, a little bit of crap, and he looked really, he looked pretty pissed off, and like he just looks, pr- he looked proud of everything he does, and like you don't go, you don't follow, you don't totally follow the source material, you yeah. just kind of, it's your own little experimental. Because some of the, I think he did House of the Dead as well, and I think he, I mean, most he video games. Blood Rain. Oh, and... God. <laughs> Although like he did like another one with a. a bigger woman and it was called Blubberella oh, and God. it was like frame for frame blood rain but it, the, the character was a bigger woman and I was like I'm like I want to see this and like she knew it was a bad movie she didn't care you know? yeah I mean I think there's just like sometimes you just gotta go with it but it's yeah. just it's <laughs> funny I don't know I was thinking of the blood rain I think of the nostalgia critic when was it the second one when um Michael Madsen got stabbed. He didn't even show any emotion. He just yeah. like, get me off this set. Yeah. But yeah, that UA Bowl guy's funny. <sighs> yeah, Hitman wasn't. It was okay. It was. It's a video game movie, so there's nothing amazing about it. But like, I appreciated the creative, like. Because the, the Hitman game is all about being creative with your kills. It's not just about shooting people. It's like, throw this... Bo- it's kind of... Well, I mean, it's like what I was doing. Throw this bottle. Throw the mag... Like, I was throwing the magazine. I wanted to get all three of them in a row so I could shoot that explosive barrel. And just... It would be fun. And we're still going. Okay. Cypher has been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him face to face in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me where he is. Where is Cypher? Where is Zero? I've never known choice. Where I was born, the language I speak. I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill Zero for me? Not for you. And is that Zero the same Zero from... Yeah, from Mm -hmm. Metal Gear Solid 2. Of course it stops. Of course. (laughs) But um, that's the end of Ground Zero's... We're gonna move on to the other side missions. We'll probably it could probably throw that into a another full video itself. So okay, yeah, there's we'll a full table. Drizzle. But uh, give a th- give a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews, randomness, and uh, more Metal Gear. Uh, until then, uh, this is Justin from KQS and his lovely sister Julie. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and until we meet again, comrade.
been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... nine years. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. 